I'm doing well. I was passing out. Okay. Okay. You gotta come prepared. It's a thrill to be here campaigning with Catherine and John Liu. Yeah, I guess we're ready. Uh, do you want to play traffic cop on this thing? Yeah. Um, I find this all very confusing. Campaigning together, who exactly are you asking people to vote for? Well, I know Catherine's asking people to vote for her. I'm asking people to vote for me, rank me number one. But this is a ranked choice voting election, and it's important for people to be able to make their preferences known past the first choice. Uh, people know that I like and admire Catherine. I'm asking my supporters uh, to also support Catherine on their ballot uh, as their second choice. And Catherine, what about you? you know, I've been very clear from the beginning. I like campaigning with Andrew around the fact that we both really want to make sure that everyone comes out and votes tomorrow and that they use their whole ballot. You've got five choices. Use them. That's your power. And so I have not endorsed this race. So he's going to be your your supporters vote gang. So my supporters are going to have to make up their own minds. Who are you putting in the second slot on your ballot? Um, I voted and I'll share it maybe. Friedlander. Are you going to share it now? No. Nope. David? Mr. Yang, is she your second choice sure. on your ballot? Uh, Catherine is my second choice and has been for quite some time. This is but, this whole thing, though, to, to on that point, is all very strange. The ranked choice voting is new. very strange. It's not strange, it's new. <laughs> That's right, right. It's new, and we yeah. voted 73% to have ranked choice voting. That's right. Yep. right. And let, let me say, there's nothing strange going on here. Flushing is Yang land, and yeah. Andrew is here. And it's a smart thing for Catherine Garcia to be in Yang land also. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yang, so and for, for both of you, actually, the, you know, for, Mr. Adams, the mayor, have kind of called this a cynical attempt to kind of alter the vote and sort of crush him out, Mr. Adams, out of this. How is this not that? How do or is it, or is it perhaps the calling the kettle black? Can you explain uh, what you mean by that? I, like, I've not been a politician, but those are two people who've been in politics a long time. Uh, maybe they're seeing more there than there is because that's how they would approach it. Uh, New Yorkers have been waiting for quite some time to have the kind of leadership that will bring people together, that will unify the city, that will cooperate with people even that they're competing against. Yes. That's, a, that's a kind of leadership that we need in City Hall. We don't need someone who's going to come up with reasons for us to, to turn against each other. Yes. And he's yes. a liar and a fraud. Your response to that? <laughs> Eric Adams' old union that he was a part of for 22 years decided to endorse me as their top choice for mayor because they know I'm a better choice to keep New Yorkers safe. And I want everyone thinking about this for a moment. The people who know Eric best, his colleagues, decided to choose Andrew Yang as their endorsement for mayor. That says all you need to know about Eric Adams and keeping your family safe. Which Skyler. union is that? Yes. The Captain's Union. Yes. Um, we're doing, no, we're doing calls to Skyler. Why not come out and do this kind of dual campaigning sooner in the race? Why wait until, you know, the final week, the final week of the to, um, yes! to election day to unify? I'll speak for myself. Uh, Catherine and I have gotten to know each other on the trail. We've had private conversations uh, during and after the debates. No, uh, and and uh, it's something that I think voters wanted. Um, so the fact that we came together just as people are casting their ballots, I think should send a powerful message about bringing New York together. And, and may I answer that also, you know, Andrew and I did a press conference early on about issues that we cared about. For example, making sure that there is one city permit for small businesses to bring them back. I invited actually many of the other candidates to a press conference I did on foster care. And they often tweeted out about this issue that I felt personally. so. Uh, strongly about. So I have been trying to reach out and work across all of our differences for issues that are important to New Yorkers. Last question, Mike. Uh, I wanna, go ahead, Mike. I want to ask you both about comments that um, Mr. Yang made on Council T's radio show today. Um, Mr. Yang, you have not distanced yourself from comments you made in the debate on mentally ill, but you really doubled down today. And there are people who said that your suggestion that we needed to get mentally ill people off the streets to make tourism come back to New York City was a little sensitive. So I'm curious what you would say to those critics. And Ms. Garcia, I'm curious what you think about those comments. I mean, these are probably a reinforcement of things you said last week that you've criticized. 
we need to help the people who are struggling with mental illness yes. uh, on our streets to get healthy, to get the help that they need. Yep. It's right for them, uh, and it's right for the city. Yes. Right. Yep. I, I believe that we do need to make sure that we have mental health professionals helping people who are mentally ill in this city because that is a compassionate thing to do. And then we have to get folks who are on our streets permanent housing. Having people live on our streets means that they are just unhealthy. So housing can really heal. Thanks. Thanks. Wait, 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 I just want to continue this. We all know that public safety is top of mind for New Yorkers. There will not be an economic recovery until people feel safe walking our streets and riding our subways. Is there a choice to be made between housing the homeless and helping the mentally ill and public safety? Is there are these two different? Well, that, I mean, the way, the way that, you framed it in the debate, the way it's been spoken of since, is that you were saying it's more of a public safety issue. Is that? Well, that, that's the point, is that this is the right thing to do for the people involved. It's the right thing to do for the city. It's the right thing to do for an economic recovery. It's right on, on multiple levels. Thank it's you. It's going to rain me. tomorrow. Are you worried at all about the weather possibly, you know, affecting the voter turnout tomorrow? I want every New Yorker to get out and vote tomorrow, rain or shine. Yeah.